Hello everyone, this is Victor Fitzgerald. Um, what I'm going to be doing right now is actually walking you through another productivity app uh, for my productivity review series here. What you're going to see on the screen right now is actually a app called OmniFocus. OmniFocus is another to-do list app um, that I'm going to be highlighting mostly because it's revolutionized the way that I do to-dos. Uh, apologies for taking so long to get this video out to you guys. Um, we have moved back to the United States, which has complicated our recording and editing process. Um, so what you're going to look at with OmniFocus here is a bunch of screens that are going to allow you to manage your task list in both a time and project oriented way. Um, it really is geared for getting things done, um, but there are some functions built in that I really enjoy. Uh, so what, what you're going to look at right now is I'm actually in forecast view, uh, which allows me to see all of my calendar events as well as all of my to-dos um, so that I can kind of schedule and go through and see what's going on with each one. What you're also going to notice is that there is an inbox. And what that inbox does is it imports from either Zapier Zaps, if you have that connected, or through like your to-do list reminders app. So I have mine actually set that the family reminders from the family plan go directly into OmniFocus. So if my wife needs me to do something like you can see, uh, visiting Home Depot, it will automatically appear for me in my inbox in OmniFocus. The way that I really organize things though is around two specific areas, and that's projects and contexts. So the first one is what we're gonna look at, which is projects. Now, Projects walks you through um, uh, basically layers of containers about tasks. So I have a bunch that are kind of built in and ones that I use. Um, so I use Home Improvement because we are just moved back, so we've got a lot going on. Um, I've got Personal, which is anything that, that happens to, to be more personal. Um, I've got Work, and I've got Volunteering. And so those are the main buckets, and within each one, um, you're going to be able to see smaller level uh, projects as well and projects that are more important have flags on them um, and then you're going to also see you know how those things interact with each other so right now all of these projects are actually parallel so everything can be done in in a parallel sequence I can actually set them to be sequential if I would like as well um, I just find that parallel sin tends to have everything that I would want now, going back to the home screen, which I can just do by kind of pressing home for a little while, um, I want to actually show you guys context, which I feel like are the most important uh, version of OmniFocus here. Now, what you're going to see is I have a bunch of contexts available. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is actually walk you through uh, just a couple that I have built in. Um, so what I tend to do is I've got Home Depot here, which has nothing on it right now because I haven't filed that inbox list from my wife yet. Um, but if I go ahead and select that context, what you're going to see is that I have this saved search for Home Depot. Um, but actually, if I go in and I set this to a Home Depot in the location that I'm in, then I can actually set notifications for arriving at that destination. So if I've got a context that says Home Depot and then I actually go and walk into the store, I'll get a update with the to-dos that are um, related to that. And you can see that I have that for the Apple store here as well and for a grocery store. Um, you know, So I've got King Super saved in there. Now, I, I really enjoy the location-based aspect of this, um, but something that's come up lately that I've been really impressed with is the ability to review. So everything you have set as a project will get kicked back in for a weekly review so that you can check and make sure that you're actually making progress on those things. All in all, I actually feel like this is the best to-do list app for a mobile workforce that I've seen. And the integration with Zaps from Zapier um, really does help the system because it allows you to, say, send a Salesforce task with your name in it directly into OmniFocus um, to help kind of streamline things. You have to have a premium account to do Salesforce, but you can do a whole bunch of other stuff with Zapier uh, for free. So if you have any questions about this, I'll be going through Zapier and how I use Zaps uh, in my life um, in a later video, but feel free to 
leave a comment on this video or visit me at victorfitzgerald.com if you have any questions. Thanks.